Welcome back everyone, I'm Seth Roth, and today we're going to wrap up our series on the weapons and stabs of Colorful Magic with a bit of a teaser on a new project I'm working on. Not a new, but the, an extension of the next phase of the Colorful Magic project. So you'll notice I'm just outside of Riverwood, and if you were to look at this, if, you're, if I were to go to Whiterun right now and try to buy some Colorful Magic spells, you wouldn't find any. The vendors are no longer there. They are no longer sitting suspiciously in the marketplace with nothing to do and nowhere to live because I have moved to them. Yes, I thought that if I just placed two vendors on two chairs in the middle of Whiterun, then that would be uh, sufficiently small that I wouldn't get a lot of requests to make them compatible with other overhauls of Whiterun. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. <laughs> Because apparently there are things like open cities, where the entire city is moved to another sector and therefore all of my everything, everything in there has to be moved to a new sector. So I came up with a clever solution that allows us to uh, avoid white run entirely. So you'll note I just went uh, inland from the bridge at Riverwood, you can see it right from there, and just keep heading straight towards white run. And you will find on your right this wonderfully magical looking portal. And if we get in nice and close, we will see it's called the Cave of Wonders. I just couldn't resist. I mean, come on. Colorful magic answers grant so many wishes. You know what I mean? You need firepower, you need magic, you need weapons, you need whatever. It's got it. And uh, by the way, I brought it all in here. Even the stuff that still kind of needs to be debugged, maybe kind of a little bit, but it's all in here. So I took everything that was crammed into those little tables in regular Colorful Magic and then spread them out in their own little home in here. And I put in all the crafting stations so you could kind of turn this into a, a base where you can not only sell a bunch of your loot because let's face it, you need almost a million gold to buy everything that Colorful Magic has to sell. Uh, but also you might have some crafting to do here. So it's all here. This includes the shouts. Uh, just to let you know, you need to already know the requisite dragon shouts before you can activate these bad boys. These will not auto-teach you the necessary shouts. You have to already know them, and then this will give you a new shout with a combination of those three necessary syllables. I've been able to test all but the Recover spell. These other five work fine. Recover requires some shouts that are from... You don't get them until you get further into the plot storyline, and that's not something I can just log in and test. We also have over here the Golden Anvil. And, oh, on top, this is the little ditty that I added myself, called the Spell Tome Teleport to the Cave of Wonders. And now we have access to this lovely, lovely little spell, Teleport to the Cave of Wonders. So now, from anywhere in Skyrim, you can cast this lovely spell. <laughs> I love that little guy. You oh, yeah. find <laughs> that lying around? Must be your lucky day. Oh, I do need to adjust the graphics a little bit. It still pops a, a healing spell when you activate the teleport. But it brings you right back here. So now you don't even have to travel all the way to right, White Run to deal with the vendors. You have a spell that you can auto cast or just cast whenever you're ready to come back and sell your loot and craft your stuff. And yes, some of the beds in there are not owned, so you can't even use them as a place to rest if you're doing any needs mods. That now that wasn't even colorful magic. I did that myself. That is my own little addition to make this as awesome and user friendly as possible. But we also brought in the Golden Anvil. So this baby allows you to take things that you loot from bosses, like, I guess, or rainbow pieces. Yeah, bottom right corner, you see those rainbow pieces? You get one rainbow piece per boss that you slay. And then you can use the rainbow piece and other crafting ingredients to modify the weapons that you loot from colorful magic bosses. Because apparently the colorful magic bosses weren't powerful enough to begin with. You also have to loot and modify all this stuff that just makes them even more awesome and even more powerful. Anyway, so this could occupy an entire playthrough on top of a playthrough just to get through and collect and upgrade all of this stuff. <laughs> but wait, we're not done. Because there's also, uh, no, this enchanting station over here is just your regular enchanter. However, over here, the alchemy table has some unique things you can make. Uh, demon drug, which actually is from all vanilla ingredients, 
which raises your attack damage. You can create the Philosopher's Stone, which you might have noticed is actually a crafting ingredient at the Golden Anvil. I believe an incomplete Philosopher's Stone is one of the loots that's dropped by a specific boss. I won't tell you which one. Potion of Berserk, you take half damage and deal double damage for 60 seconds. Also drains your health, so you want to throw on some kind of a healing thing for that. But again, that just uses vanilla ingredients from regular Skyrim. Same thing for uh, Power Juice. Stamina regenerates faster, drains your magicka, that sucks, drains the target's health, okay. Okay, but you're getting 10 times more stamina regen. Yeah, so some of these, you gotta be careful how you, you gotta plan out how you're gonna use them and how you're gonna not die. You can also create a Soul of Valkyrie, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so that requires a Soul of Cursed Valkyrie, which will be a boss loot. And then the Wizard's Brew, which again, all vanilla ingredients, which will regenerate your magicka faster, like, a lot faster, cool. All right, and then you can obviously, we'll go into first person mode, we can go over here and talk huh? to our lovely vendors. Take a look. And have a wide range of options to buy. I haven't yet done a spell by spell breakdown of all this because I've been doing colorful magic like nonstop for six months. I might need a break. <laughs> Not, I will still be debugging stuff. I just, I might need to do like a playthrough or something to just get other things out of my system before I dig into all of these spells. But they are amazing, they are awesome. This yeah. is the Cave of Wonders, and hopefully that little nook between Riverwood and Whiterun is specific, sufficiently remote that we won't have to worry about Good more mod see. conflicts. Uh, I love our little chicken here. Yes. He can follow you, by the way. You can have a little follower that's yes, the head yes. of a centurion on legs. Find myself a drink. And then, of course, they have this lovely bodyguard who, for some reason, has the head of a sweet roll. I did not ask, but he is the super sweet roll man, and he is here to protect the people here, I guess. Cool. All right, so let me know in the comments below what you think of this new and improved uh, crafting slash rest stop slash vendors area that we have created for our colorful magic. I uh, hope you guys like all of the new things that this edition will bring with all of the crafting and the alchemy and the shouts. There's just a whole bunch of fun stuff you can do with this. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.